Hey guys, it's Killer Kid Gaming, and today I'm gonna do an unboxing, review, and setup video for the AGP Tech HD Video Capture. I just got this off of Amazon for about 80 bucks, and it's one of the best capture cards that you can get for the price and for the quality as well because it records full 1080p HD video but it doesn't cost anywhere near as much as the Elgato or one of the Hopog. You're looking to spend around 130 plus when buying one of those capture cards and you can pick this one up for 80 bucks. Um, so let's get right into it. I actually unboxed it before making this video. My apologies, I just couldn't, um, I just couldn't just wait to do it. So I'm just gonna get this opened up real quick. Okay, so here's a look inside, we have the power adapter that comes with it um, the box also comes with an HDMI cable which is pretty small it's about two feet so I would actually go with at least a six feet HDMI cable and it comes with the actual capture device which is the HD video capture and it comes with the CD it comes with its own capture software and it comes with a manual which right now it's not in here I took it out but the manual just gives you the basic instructions on how to set it up. We're going to go over that in this video though. Um, going back to the HD capture device, you get an HDMI input, which will come from your Xbox One, PS4, or whatever device you're recording from. The output will go to your monitor or to your TV. Um, and you have a YPBR input as well. I don't know if anyone uses that nowadays, but they give it to you just in case. I do not recommend it unless you want to lose quality. I would go with the HDMI's. Uh, you have your power input here, which obviously you connect your power adapter to it. In the back we have a USB host. Now this is used to record either to a flash drive. Um, you will need a large flash drive. This one is 8 gigabytes. I would recommend a 32 gigs or up. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes because the files on this thing are pretty large so this thing will record at very large file size and you you're gonna need a lot of space so myself I'm gonna record to a computer but you can record to whatever else you may want um, it also comes with a separate audio in audio out and microphone in so you can record your microphone while recording your your video gameplay but there's a catch to it these three inputs will only work if you're using your YPBR input okay so you pretty much have to have to downgrade your quality to be able to use it I am not even gonna use this actually you don't need it because the HDMI gives you audio so you don't really need to be using these inputs I would stay away from them one more thing I wanted to mention is that the capture device actually comes with free editing software. You get ArcSoft Showbiz and it's pretty cool. You can capture, you can edit your videos. I have Sony Vegas myself so I won't be needing it but it's cool that they throw in an editing software. It's So now we're just going to get right into the setup but I wanted to mention this just in case you guys wanted to be able to edit your videos and we're wondering how to do it. Okay, So the first thing you're going to want to do is you, you want to take your power adapter plug it in to an outlet okay then you take the back end of the power adapter and then you plug it in to where it says power or PWR whatever um, next is to connect the HDMI cables you wanna make sure that either you have it really close if you're using the short HDMI cable that comes with it or if you have a longer HDMI cable like myself you won't have this issue so you want to take one end and put it on the input make sure you're plugging it into the input not the output and then you want to get the other end of the HDMI cable and you're gonna plug it into the back of your Xbox One, PS4, PS3, whatever it is that you're using right there to where it says HDMI out to TV next you want to take another HDMI cable plug it into the output port on the HD capture device like so 
and then you want to take the other end of the HDMI cable and plug it into your TV monitor or you know a, a gaming monitor if you have one but just make sure you're plugging in the output from here into your TV or gaming monitor just so that you will get a display of what you're actually playing or seeing on your Xbox now we're gonna take a flash drive or if you wanna use a an external hard drive that's fine I have a 32 gigabyte a flash drive I'm just gonna plug it into where it says USB host make sure it's nice nice in there so once you're in game and you're ready to record all you wanna do is press that red button on the right and it should turn red which means that it's recording if you click it again the light will blink a couple times and it will stay green that means that the recording has stopped you can now remove the flash drive or hard drive plug it into computer and see what you have recorded okay so the xbox one is powering on i'm gonna do a couple test games to see if it records well and also i just want to make sure that there's no latency by using two HDMI cables. That's one thing that I was worried about. Okay, so I just got done testing the HD video capture device. And let me tell you, it looks great. The quality is amazing. Um, there was no frames dropped. There was no lag at all. And as you can see, the textures in the water looks really, really good. Um, I just dropped on a quick game on Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One. And I got to tell you, it, it it's, it's great. Like, I'm speechless. For the price, you get something that's amazing. And I didn't notice any input lag or latency, um, you know, as far as splitting the signal with two HDMI cables. Because you do have an HDMI, HDMI in, HDMI out. But that didn't make a difference. It's like if I was playing with the HDMI cable plugged in straight from my Xbox to the monitor. Like, it still looked great and the quality had no loss whatsoever. Like, I would really strongly recommend this capture device for anyone who's looking for a cheap way to capture it because you don't really need to spend that much money on an Elgato you could just use this and get the same quality so I hope this tutorial and setup and review was useful for you guys and if you liked it be sure to subscribe leave a like and until next time it's your boy Killer Kid Gaming see you later